the CZ Scorpion. We don't really know what the hell it is. Today on Midnight Run, we're gonna dive right into her guts. When I was buying this thing, um, we had a call, you have to call the police and they have to give you an authorization number when you buy a firearm here in Connecticut. So as we were doing it, he said, what is it? I don't really know. Is it a pistol? To tell you the truth, I don't really know. Or is it another? Mark it down, whatever you want, because I don't really know. This thing is, I would say, in between. This is the El Camino of guns. It's not a truck, it's not a car, it's just a abomination. Midnight Run's the name, going nut to butt is the game. Let's start out with the muzzle brake. This thing is super, super short. And every time I was shooting it, I was getting really, really scared that I was gonna just blow my little dick beaters right off. Um, so that is def definitely something that you have to keep in the back of your head. Um, your hands are dangerously close to the end of that, end of that barrel. And if you are not careful, um, your wife, your girlfriend, they're gonna be opening up the ketchup bottle for you for the rest of your life. Watch, it's gonna be in the comment section. Some chick's gonna be like, I'm a female and I blew my fingers off with the CC Scorpion. You didn't, you didn't say anything about me. Just be cognizant about it. You are dangerously close to the end of that barrel. Um, and I even feel it when you're shooting it. You, it feels like a big burly man is slapping your knuckles because you feel all of that gas, all of that pressure slapping right onto your hand. So um, it is kind of, it is kind of uncomfortable to, to, to shoot. Definitely wear some gloves. Um, I was shooting it without gloves, and you definitely, uh, you definitely felt that thing. You definitely felt that thing firing off. So this Easy Scorpion comes with the Picatinny rails on the three o'clock, the twelve o'clock, um, the six o'clock, and the nine o'clock, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm running the Knight's Armament uh, foregrip on it. Definitely just gives you a little more comfortability, um, keeping your hand away from the end of that muzzle. Um, this is an SBR, right? If it has the foregrip on it. Yeah, you're a felon. <laughs> I'm a felon. I guess I'm a felon here, but whatever. So I do, I do definitely run, I recommend running a grip or some sort of hand stop there uh, just to give that comfortability and give that good spacing from your hand to the barrel because you will blow your fingers off. So this is probably my favorite feature to the uh, CZ Scorpion is the ambi charging handle. Mine's on the left because I'm a righty, but you can swap it over if you were a left-handed shooter, which I think is a really, really cool feature. Um, this thing's awesome. I really like you just pull it back and then you lock it and then you just feel like an absolute badass. You just slap it. It goes forward. You're ready to rock and roll, ready to get it back into the fight and melt some barrels. So that's probably my favorite feature to the uh, CZ Scorpion is that it does have an ambidextrous um, charging handle. So the barrel is a really well-made barrel. It's a seven inch cold hammer forged barrel. So it's extremely durable, extremely accurate. And I do think that every manufacturer should have that hammer forged barrel on all of their um, all of their weapons that they make. I think that it's just it just lasts longer. It's a lot more durable. And I think it's just a lot more accurate. Yeah, you can get a chrome line one, but um, this one is not. So it is what it is, but still it's a great barrel. I have, I didn't see any issues with accuracy. I was shooting out to like a hundred yards and it was just smacking the target one after another after another. So um, A plus on the barrel. All right, just a disclaimer. I'm not even gonna lie. I have no idea what the fuck this bolt even is. It says that it's a, blo a gas blowback system. I don't even know what the hell that means. I'm not even going to begin to tell you what that means. So tear me apart in the comment section. Definitely leave it in the comment section if you know what the hell a gas blowback system is. Um, but as you can see in the videos of me shooting it, this thing is a fire breathing dragon. There is so much gas. It's just like, all right, man, it's, it's IFR right now because this thing creates some fucking fog. There's a lot of gas coming out of this thing when you are uh, shooting. I recommend wearing a gas mask too. 
The trigger. This thing's absolute trash. I had a look, I had to go in there and I had a look and I was like, is this a Knight's Armament trigger? trigger? Because it's absolute garbage. <laughs> This thing's at like 10 pounds. I think it's like a 10 pound pressure. Um, so let's just ghost it real quick. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, pulling, I'm pulling. Broke. I'm not even kidding you. I bet if, if you said that it was like 10 to 15 pounds, I would totally believe you. Um, definitely, um, that's probably, if you're gonna modify this thing, I would go after the trigger first. I think Timney makes a trigger and I hear really, really good things about it. Um, so definitely upgrade the trigger. This thing's an abomination. I don't like it, it sucks. The CZ Scorpion is a reinforced polymer frame. So literally the only thing that is metal on here is the barrel and the bolt, which I kind of find interesting given it's 6.10 pounds with a full magazine. So it's actually fairly heavy for being a full polymer rifle, which I don't really understand, but um, I thought that was kind of interesting. The weight for the material just doesn't really even out, um, which was kind of weird. The stock, I mean, the arm brace. By SB Tactical, this one's pretty cool because it folds. This is the one that I put on it and I think it's really, really awesome. It really, really compacts it because you can put it under your seat. So if anybody wants to fuck around, they will definitely find out when you pull this thing out from under your seat. So um, I do believe that you should get a folding stock. Nice. I think it just looks a lot cooler. I think that it's just a lot more compact and just all around better. So if you are gonna get a CZ Scorpion, I would put a folding arm brace on it, not a stock. I can't say that word, because I already have too many felony charges on me. <laughs> That's a wrap on the CZ Scorpion. I think this thing is so fun. I, had a, I have a great time shooting this. Um, it's really, really fun. I'm gonna just throw away all of my handguns, and this is just gonna be what I rock around now. Just like walk around the streets with this thing slung on my back. No more pistols, no more handguns. We will only be doing CZ Scorpion. Um, but it is a great gun. Very, very fun. Very, very compact. Great to put under your seat. Great to put by your bed. I think it's awesome. Again, uh, 10 out of 10, I would give it for having fun with. Um, highly, highly recommend. But that's a wrap for today, guys. Thank you. Hope you like the CZ Scorpion. You'll probably see more of it. Um, Cause again, I, I think it's a really, really fun, interesting gun. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Leave in the comment section how much you hate Kyle. Go check out the other stuff. Got some more videos coming and I'll see you guys back out there later.